So, so, hey Simmers, it's me, Mad Simmer, and welcome to, I guess, like the second part of my renovation series where I'm renovating Brindleton Bay. In this video, we're not really, I guess, renovating anything because this is just a plain lot in Brindleton Bay, but I did tell you guys when I was reno renovating the both house, that's how you pronounce it, it's a weird name. This one also has a really weird name and I don't know how to pronounce it either, but I said that, so since my last build, I went over the budget because I'm trying to stay within the budget of how the lots originally are. So if it's like a manor, obviously like I got a lot of simoleons to work with, but if it's a starter home, then I don't. It's, you know, 20K is the highest I think you can go to make it starter home friendly. So I did not follow through in my last one and I made I, I made the house too expensive. Like it's still affordable, but not, it's still expensive is what I'm trying to say. So I thought, hey, why don't I make like one more starter home in this world then? And I was thinking maybe doing it in the other lot that's like right next to this one. I'm not exactly sure yet. I think I need to move on to the bigger lots though just to get those out of the way sooner than later because it's a lot of work renovating a world and I think I think that would be a smart idea because yeah they're they're gonna be a lot of work. I'm excited but I'm uh, nervous because <laughs> like they're so big like the Delgado house and then that um that other one that like no one lives in it looks like our big ranch uh, like a what a celebrity would have you know in the middle of nowhere speaking of the middle of nowhere so this lot it, it that's how it feels because there it's not like a cul-de-sac it's not like um a development so there's not really a road that leads to the house so in making it I was like how am I going to how am I going to center this house on the lot and also how am I going to make a trail with this house because if I were to get out of build mode and I just made like a straight trail from the garage or the door, it would just end abruptly and look weird. So I had to kind of like curve them around the house and then kind of fade them out. So it's not like exactly a pathway, but it's some sort of pathway. Yeah, it was just, it was a little difficult, but I think the outcome is as good as I could do. So this house is, I think like 18K, somewhere in there, it's in the 18,000s. So it's affordable, furnished and not furnished, which is obviously key and what my mistake was in the last video, but here we are now and also I did make a mistake in this one too. I don't know how. Guys, you know I've been trying to only do base game and just cats and dogs. So it's a specific pack build basically. And for some reason I have outdoor, is it, yeah, outdoor retreat in this build and I looked all over the place. I tried to find, um, I don't know, just any sort of DLC with the pack and I couldn't. So I really don't know where it is. I looked through the catalog too to spark my mind. I'm like, where is it? I I tried deleting some things and uploading it to the gallery. I tried, you know, I deleted the whole inside of the house, all the furniture, so I really don't know what it is. I thought it was maybe the landscaping because I used Bitebug and I maybe I by accident used something, but I also deleted the landscaping, so I don't really know what the issue is. I promise you, like, it's not, if there is outdoor retreat, well, there is, but it's not a huge part of this build. So even if you don't have outdoor retreat, you could still get this. Like, I really don't think it's that much of an issue. Obviously, if you guys know notice something in this in the speed build in this video then let me know and I can try to take it out but for the meantime I'm just gonna upload it to the gallery and unfortunately it shows up with outdoor retreat I know <laughs> I was on such a good streak but it's okay I'm making this kind of like so obviously it's a starter home so one sim or two really because the bedroom is big enough to fit a double bed but um, I'm making this kind of like craftsman home. I don't know, I was trying to, so I was looking on Pinterest and I was trying to find something that could kind of match the world. And I feel like this definitely matches Brindleton Bay's vibe, I guess, and the architecture in the world. I also love the curved in roof. At first I was a little nervous because it looked kind of strange and I normally don't do that with my builds, but I think it adds some character to the build. Also dormers do as well. I once said that dormers are like white out and I don't really know what that means. I don't know what I was saying at the time. Like I kind of do. I think I was trying to say like dormers basically erase the house. Like they, they make the house look good. <laughs> they erase all the mistakes, which doesn't really make sense because like they don't, they just add on to the house. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is that dormers are helpful if you're especially not good at building and you want to make your design look more intricate and detailed. Dormers are an easy thing to do. And also in the image that I used, because obviously I, I like to use images of houses. I found one on Pinterest and it had these 
cute little dormers like they're so small and so I thought oh I should do that with this build I was also able to do my garage trick because the storage units I use for the garage and the windows come with cats and dogs and this is what I mean by it's such a good pack if I were to do like if I had to pick certain expansion packs for a pack build I probably would pick like seasons and cats and dogs they're just the two best ones I think they come with so much and it's all so cute too this house also has two bathrooms so one is a half bathroom one's a full bathroom it's basically a master suite and you guys have probably noticed I, I did that with my last build so it's kind of something I like to do I think it's especially good if you're trying to work within a budget because you don't have to put a shower or a bathtub in a half bathroom so it's definitely more cheap which is nice and then also your guests can use it and then you can have your own bathroom so that's why I really like doing that in builds if I can and then I also guys this is a this is a proud moment okay I put a trash can and a smoke alarm I always forget those things I I've gotten so much better at it but it's something that you just kind of forget sometimes when building and so don't worry those are in this build i want to add a thermostat but you know that comes with seasons so obviously i didn't Ugh, okay so i think that's about it with this build oh also i did not obviously there really is no room anyways and also it costs more money so there is really no backyard to this house there's not like a swimming pool or anything way too expensive but I think that's fine I, I love the landscaping you know I really put a lot of effort into that so at least the curve I always say curve appeal I know it's curb appeal but we're just gonna go with curve appeal because I <laughs> I like that more. Um, it has some nice curve appeal, okay? I added like, so I added this chair and some lights that you don't see in this video, uh, but you'll see it in the screenshots. You'll also see a, I put a rocky trail that I was talking about earlier leading from the garage because I felt like it needed something. So you'll see that in the screenshots, but I don't actually record it because it was kind of an afterthought. Um, also the screenshots, obviously we're not going to have before and after, so it's just going to be screenshots of this build because there was no house here originally. Alrighty, so I think that's about it with this house. I do love the inside. I mean, the dining room I think is so gorgeous. The living room, honestly, I really was proud with the, the floor plan and just kind of the color scheme. It has a lot of gray, uh, dark blue or not dark blue but this grayish blue and then we have some like tans so I feel like it all matches it's all pretty cohesive it is a little bare in some areas because like you know we're trying to work within a budget here but I think I did the best with what I got and also I don't I don't really think using bite of bugs cheating by the way I just want to make that clear I think you know come on like in real life houses have landscaping I think it makes sense oh I also feel like that the bluish gray really matches Brindleton Bay I feel like you see a lot of houses or I don't know it's just like a color that reminds me of cats and dogs in Brindleton Bay so that's why you'll see I do use a lot of that grayish blue just because it really matches the house first of all but reminds me of Brindleton Bay um that's all I'm gonna say for the build I hope you guys like it um it will be on the gallery I guess now <laughs> I can talk about like my life my really interesting life so in my first part of the series I was talking about how I'm starting my second semester and I was like you know it's just it's just you get kind of like more tired and tired as the year goes on and just more like not motivated however I'm feeling much better now I actually really like my classes the teachers are nice I think why it's so scary at first is because first of all you're not having the same teachers in the same classes except I am still having my AP Lang class that I talked about in my first part so I still see that teacher and I really like her and I, I just I like AP Lang so that was comforting but I actually do like my classes and teachers now too. I have graphic design which is pretty cool and reminds me of what I do on my channel anyways like with my outro and my little social media icons you saw in the beginning so yeah no it's really fun and so I'm, I'm happy feeling better and we'll see though, we'll see as I get more work on into the year. But I think that's about it, guys. Uh, sorry if this like commentary was a little bit boring. Nothing crazy is going on right now. So I don't got any like tea or anything. Not to, you know, talk about the weather, but right now while I'm recording, it's actually snowing. So if that's interesting to you, then hey. Uh, but no, it's, it's snowing like crazy. I'm also just like not, I just want winter to end. And it's bad because it's like, what is it? January? Almost February? I mean, that's not awful. You know, could it just go? 
I just want the snow to leave because my skin is drying out and it's always so cold. I just, I like the, the heat a little bit more. So if I were to live somewhere, honestly, I'd probably be somewhere warm. Anyways, look guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, enjoy the screenshots and stay updated for more renovations to come. Bye, Simmers. Dag, dag.